Hey there, so today we have another review with Katie. And we have Schlenkala Rockbia Medicine. So, have I ever reviewed this? I haven't reviewed this. Wow. So, um, first noticeable thing is that this was um, part of my advanced testosterone exam. Uh, I had to write about smoked beers, and I chose this one. And this is actually a notorious one. Um, getting into craft beer, went to some great beer bars and beer gardens, and they were serving this beer. And we called it the bacon beer. And if you guys don't know already, you know about this beer. This is one of the weirdest flavor experiences you will ever enjoy or dislike. This is a Manson. So, um, uh, you know, amberish kind of German lager, uh, malt forward, but it is made with 100% beechwood smoked malt. So that imparts some really interesting characteristics. Katie's never had this before. Uh, again, I tell you, this is one of the most interesting beers, but not only not only beers, but also flavors you will ever enjoy out of something you ever drink or eat. So let's dig into it. Beer comes in a wonderful kind of like medium um, to deep copper color, right? Light brown yeah. at yeah. worst, right? A little bit of amber coming in on the edges. Um, wonderful brown head. And let's get the aroma. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. Oh, Rocco. no. <laughs> Rocco's got a little toy down there. Um, what does this smell like to you? I, I don't want to influence your uh, flavors. Yeah. It smells like uncooked bacon, for sure. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, we got out of here, yeah. That's Sorry his giggle that. ball. So. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, uncooked bacon. What else did you get on that? Um, I kind of get like some copper pennies type smell. Yeah, I can sort of see some like metallic going on. Um, I, I know this is a little stuff from allergies, so it's hard. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let you keep going. I'm going to let you keep going before it influences it. Um, I almost smell like a bergamot. Like citrus? Bergamot's no, like... no, no, like this, the peel. More like the peel. So, but like like herbal tea. Like I said, my, my nose. Like, like yeah. citrus tea. Tea. Yeah, okay, yeah, like bergamot, black tea. So, but black tea is more, like more tannic and pea notes, not the citrusy part. No, it's not the citrus, citrusy part, you're right. Yeah, um, it's citrusy. almost like... Tannic black tea. Berg bergamot is also, I think it has like kind of like a musky sweet smell too. Mm. Okay. So, I guess musky sweet. Musky is definitely. Yeah, I that's, I'm like, my nose is so stuffed, it's so hard to smell. Really? So, I get some cedar, um, like... like um, I can't smell wood, really. Oh, I guess I could see mothballs. Yeah, there's yeah. almost like that the sweetness of wood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, along with that, yeah, I definitely get the bacon, the uncooked bacon thing. Um, the woodiness is quite prominent. It's just it, it smells like wood, like chopping wood, forest, like fires, like it's wood, like it's wood. Yeah, it's, I think the woodiness to it. I think I think the distinction the of uncooked thing. bacon is like very specific <sighs> because if you've ever like stuck your in it, like stuck your nose, especially like in bacon that's been open for a few days already. Yeah. It's got like that. It's just very like metallic-y. Like it smells like meat. Yeah. You know, whereas and, and the, cooked the smoke bacon. Almost comes metallic yeah. Whereas cooked bacon carries more of that maple smell to me than than the Cheers. uncooked. Oh, weird. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. What's wrong with it? It tastes like. Burnt tires and toilet bowl cleaner. Yeah, it does. And again, is that That's is that weird. one of the weirdest things you ever put in your mouth, right? Yeah. Well, we'll just go like that. We've got clamato. We found some weird mm -hmm. foods. You know, like exactly the clamato was probably like that's the one that stands out the most as the weirdest. But this is weird. This is this Extremely is right up there. I do not like like this people one. drink this stuff. Right. It tastes like freaking paint remover. Mm -hmm. So. Um, what Katie's getting is like, I guess a little bit of sensitivity to smoke, um, smoke and range in the sense of like, you know, it can be sweet, it can be savory, it can this be bacony. It's very bitter to me. It is very bitter. Um, it could also come off in, in the realm of scotch where you get like notes like iodine mm, and then you go peat. all the way to, yeah, like you get peaty. So you get iodine, you get, um, uh, burnt tire, you get, um, and that, I guess some of this here, the rubber. Yeah. Like, 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 you know, someone just like, you know. Burning their tires, and then you smell that burnt rubber. Um, maybe, maybe not quite the, uh, maybe a little bit of the iodine you know, coming in. Honestly, if you step away from it as a beer and start looking at it more as like a scotch flavor, mm -hmm. 
it's honestly a little bit more appealing. Mm -hmm. But like trying to, I think like my brain trying to register is that this mm -hmm. is a beer. It like just doesn't, it doesn't have flavors that qualify as a beer in my mind. You know, I mean, like I know that there are beers that taste similar. I've had Roush beers and stuff like that. Um, but this is you just... you had other Roush beers? I have, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. The brewery, yeah. The, the more brewery that she's worked for um, made one, yeah. Yeah, I've had other ones. I had one other before, I'm pretty sure, too. But um, anyway, you don't like it? Keep saying it. Um, uh, I'll, I'll keep talking while I keep Well, no, like I was saying, though, I think, like, if I step away from it as, like, a beer and look at it more as, like, like you said, scotch, I think mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's definitely a little bit more, I, I could drink it, but I don't think I could necessarily enjoy it, because it's mm -hmm. still not quite scotch. So for me, um, it still falls with, like, that kind of, it's not quite bacon, like, you know, you can't literally have meat in there, but there's a meatiness. Um, and as you drink it more, I find that the sweetness of the wood comes out. And the more important thing is on sip three, four, five, six, it becomes more beer. So the wood, it, it becomes less smoky and it's more, like, more, less burnt tire, like, less intense. Then it gets a little sweeter. Now it's a little bit more campfire. And then I get a little bit more of the malt. And now you get, the malt shows up. Now you get beer underneath. And now it starts tasting like beer, you yeah. know? I guess, I guess, uh, yeah, I, I guess I kind of get, like, almost like a... I don't know if you, growing up, we had like a lot of pine trees in our yard mm -hmm. and we would often rake up the, the, the pine cones to start a fire. And, you know, we would dry the pine cones out in the sun and then we would use them to start a fire. And this kind of reminds me the way of the way the smoke tasted and smelled when it would mm -hmm. blow in your face. Cause it was very smoky, you know, mm -hmm. and it just has like a very like bitter, yeah. almost kind of like a pine taste to it. Bitterness. Um, mm -hmm. The bitterness not really, I, I'd argue, from the hops. It's just like the, the, the wood just makes it seem like tannic. Right. That's it's why it's not exactly bitter. hops. It's yeah. more, yeah. like I would say, like. Um, I will say a fun thing about this guy. It's only 5.1%. Mm. The amount of impact of flavor. I mean, this guy you could just share and like, you know, just enjoy a little bit of smokiness. But I think part of the experience of enjoying this beer is arguably drink the whole thing or sharing it like this. Where, again, I'm on sip. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. I'm going on that, and now I get more beer, and that's the yeah. fun part about it. Yeah, it's, it, it gets more malty, it gets a little bit more sweet. Uh, the dryness of the beer comes in, so now it's less of the smoke kind of tannic notes. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm. It's like it's balancing out. I, I think like the first couple of sips almost like take your breath away because yeah. it's just so intense, and you're just like, Ugh! you know. Now but it's now it's kind of tame. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely more black tea specifically. Black tea, yeah. um, it's like black tea, Meriton ish, with some smoky notes on. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely get some some like chewed bubble gum. You know, chewed now I'm gum. yeah, like that that you know like how when you chew it for so long it just starts to take like it tastes like an eraser. <laughs> oh, so you still get the um, yeah, you still, you still sort of it just tastes like chewed plastic. Flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, burnt flavors sort of go that way where it goes rubbery nail polish paint yeah nail polish remover rubber you know what you're talking eraser all that kind of cool stuff um oh like a burnt toast thing going on mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so again that's where you get the complexity on this one it's, it's so fun because it it's initial attacks of smell you're like oh what's going on you take it sick you're like oh it's terrible yeah. and then you get acclimated and then the nice thing is it's still five percent clean well not clean <laughs> it's still a five percent malty german lager yeah. And that's the pretty part about it. Like, underneath, it's still a really nice beer on top of these, like, stupid flavors. You're, like, attacking you of, like, yeah. smoke and all this stuff. And it's, like, smothering you with all the smoke. But underneath, yeah. it's still a pretty beer. And you keep drinking it, and the smoke's sort of, Yeah, like, it's got nice, like, a nice away. potpourri. I mean, like, the more you dig into it, mm -hmm. uh, and the more it kind of sits. Nice mouthfeel. The carbonation yeah. just hits. Like, I mean, yeah, it's, 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 oh, I think it's, so you know, I mean, it's. It's, it's a roller coaster, this guy. Yeah, it's definitely very off-putting at first, but yeah. I think the more you get to know it, 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 it... I'd argue this is one of the most roller coaster beers you can have. Yeah, for sure. Where it's like, what is going on? And then I'm at a point where it's like, bro, give me a pint of this guy, I would have no problems. Because again... I don't know if I can go that far. I'm acclimated to the smoke now, and I'm enjoying the smoke, and I'm enjoying... And, and, and the crazy thing that people talk about is that, you know, we're talking about like, oh, the smoke's terrible, but like, we literally love things like campfires, barbecuing... Bake bacon is ubiquitously long. You don't like bacon, cigars. you're like not American or something cigars like that. Cigars. Yeah. Um barbecue. Literally the like, Texas style barbecue or American style Hookah? barbecue. Well who is not smoking? because it's filtered through the thingy. It's still smoking. 
Okay, sure. <laughs> I don't know. To me, it tastes... But like, I mean, I people love camp... Like, something about the feeling of, like, people love camping and then ripping off your shirt and it's all smoke and people love that. Yeah, right? I that, guess. That, that, I'm, that I guess I'm thinking of, like, the floral hookahs yeah. just kind of... Yeah. But this know. is smoke in a bottle. Yeah. And to experience that, you can't do that... Well, maybe one. I don't know if wine does it. Uh, I guess scotch does it. But it's rare to find these flavors in liquids and, like, of this kind of, like, complexity and nuance. Um... <laughs> I know. We're, there's we're a not whole... complexity. It's not really nuance. It's complexity and punchy in the face kind of smoke. <laughs> there is like it's not nuance whole, here. It's it is smoky. Whole... You know, <laughs> nuance here in the smoke. There's a whole bottle of liquid smoke in the spice cabinet. And we use it for cooking. I, I do. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, now I drink it more. It's like candy sweet now. I got the base beer, and it's got this really nice kind of just like like crispy toasted bread thing. That's a and and it's a little bit sweet too, which is quite fun. So. Uh, what's your final impression? What's my final impression? Um, neat. I mean, neat. I guess that's just the way I'm going to say it. What like, you go? Give a rating. What's your, what's your I rating? mean, it's... Katie, Katie deserves a rating, so... It's interesting. Probably wouldn't want to drink this one again. It's definitely not one I'm going to look at on the shelf and be like, oh, you know what? That sounds really good. You know, like, <laughs> this isn't something that I... Will, yeah. Yeah, th that I will ever seek out. Yeah. Uh, but it was really neat to try it. You know, I think it's, I think it's just, it's, su it's so vastly different than, than things that I typically drink and what I'm used to. So for me, it's like, it is very exciting. Um, but I don't, it's just not something that I would, I would casually enjoy. So, What's your number? um, you know, I mean, I guess we'll that makes it it's not, it's not terrible. It's just not my thing. Um, I guess I would give it like, I don't know, maybe. Like a C, C minus. So you're gonna give it a semi. Let's go with a C, C plus. That seventy feels too low. Seventy what? I don't know. Let's go with like a. I don't know. I you give bad. it a C plus. Let's just yeah, stop let's it say C okay. plus. For me, this is um, huge impression, huge durability. It is so unique and, in my mind, so enjoyable. Obviously divisive, but. If you find to love it, like, it's not one of those things where it's like Bourbon County where, like, you're just impressed by it and there's obviously complexity, but it's like a 5% beer and it does so much. Yeah. And I feel like it honestly, arguably has just as much complexity as something like Bourbon County, which is the beer that, like, shocked me and got me into beer. Um, mm. This beer just shocks me. So we're just even, different. Yeah. Here. Even to this day. And, I, like, the first time I had this beer, it's like... Probably like uh, less than a decade ago, but probably like eight years ago, somewhere around there. Like, and it shocked me, and it still shocks me now. I'm like, what the hell is this? And it's mind blowing, and it's still so enjoyable. And now I'm at like the left of this glass, and I'm just like, it's still tasty as hell. Um, world class. <laughs> I <was> 97. <laughs> yeah, 97. I, I, it's just, it's so freaking good. And then, the thing is, I have to do the other one now because they make a Hellas, a pale lager. Oh my gosh. They make the weird one. I've had. They make it uh, Hefeweizen, smoked Hefeweizen, which is really weird because imagine the banana and the phenolics on top of smoke. Mm. Uh, they have a Eiche. They also have like I think Eiche is a double Doppelbach. They have a Doppelbach, which obviously works. Um, I think it's another brand too, but there's like a few. So, um, but this is the OG, it's like the most popular one. But man, oh, the smoke. Smoke the wood mm -hmm. just like sits there, so delicious. It's something nice time for me. Kate doesn't really like it, but, <laughs> but 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 again, she tried it. That's right. what matters. And, and, and I drank it. It, and it is interesting. It's, it's different. Yeah, it's <laughs> try it. Yeah, Nothing. at least try it. Yeah, please try it because it's so weird. Like yeah. I think it'll really challenge your idea of like just how far beer can go or what smoke tastes like. Right. Yeah. Because I think you go a roller coaster on smoke. Bacon just tastes like bacon. You're not going to eat bacon. It's like, oh, bacon tastes like this, and then it tastes like that, and it tastes like this. This will give you smoke from here, 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 right? Like, it'll go through the whole gamut of, like... I Yeah, I mean, I dare say it, it does smell... It remind me of the taste of liquid smoke. But it does multiple things to your palate, right? Like Yeah, it's just very deep, and, and it's it's it very rich, and doing just... doing weird things. Like, first up is rub tire, then it goes here, then it goes there, and, like... Yeah. Yeah. So until next time, guys, cheers. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun one. Later. <laughs>